Hello, good evening, guys. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good, good evening. evening. How are you? Good evening. Bye, teacher. Bye. Hello. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. I like that. I like that. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's start. Aida Eugenia, hello, good evening. How are you this lovely night? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, how was your day? Um Good day, teacher. Okay, okay. Um, what did you do today? Um, okay, sorry. Uh, pues, um, go to work. <laughs> what time did you finish working? At uh, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. teacher. 6 p.m. What time did you get home? Um, 7. At 7. 7 p.m. Yeah. Okay. So you had a little bit of time to relax, right? Yes, teacher. Um, I, I, uh, uh, this day I don't go to the gym. Um, I am bad. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Hurting? Uh, and more traffic. And <laughs> yeah, I understand. Sí. I, I go to the supermarket, I buy the meal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. But you're ready, right? Yes, chair ready. That's excellent. That's the attitude. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the class, Aida. Nice having you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Oscar Edgardo, hello, how are you? Oscar, I don't hear you. Perhaps your microphone is not working. Uh, oh, now I hear you. Okay, and uh, I make you the apologize because I don't attend the class yesterday and the Friday too, uh, because the the work uh, kept me uh, very busy. And I'm sorry, teacher, but I'm I'm here right now for the continuum the class. That's cool. That's cool. I didn't. I didn't yesterday because it's past, remember? Okay, yes, teacher. Uh, hey, how are you? I Me, mean, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm pretty well. Pretty well, thank you. And what okay. about you? How was your day? Uh, very busy, teacher. Uh, I went... Uh, Tensum Tepeque. Tensum. And yes, and I. That's far. Yes, and I come back the, to my house at the six thirty. I came back. I came back the at my house um, at the six. At six thirty. Take my dinner. <laughs> uh, but it's a long trip, right? Oh. Uh, yes, it's very, very far. Yeah, I know, I know. It's but, uh, really far. I, I, uh, I am okay for the uh, take the class. I'm ready to the uh, to the uh, ready. 
ready for the class. Yeah, ready for the class. Okay. Yes, teacher. Excellent. That's the attitude. That's what we like. Okay. And I like to see you. <laughs> oh, me too. Me too. It's just great to see you guys. Okay, teacher. Gracias. Thank you. Let's see. Great to see you. Who else is around? Rafael Chicas, hello. How are you, mister? Hello, I find thanks. And you? Ah, you know, same old story, same old story. Here working as usual. Oh, well. How was your day? Ah, uh, very fine. I I was work and I take a very easy day. You had a very easy day. Okay, that's cool. What time did you get home today? I I come at six half of six p.m. Oh, a little bit late. Yes, for the traffic. Ah, uh, yeah, but you're here, right? Yes, of course. That's important. That's important to have you here in class, ready, ready to start. Everything's going to be fine. Yes, of course. Excellent, excellent, Rafael. Welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you. Thanks to you. Miguel, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Bye, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know, same old story. What can I tell you? Que le puedo decir? What about you? How was your day? Excellent, teacher. Excellent. You work, work, much work. A lot of work. Sí, yes, teacher, yes, yes. Uh, God bless um, the work. Yeah, you know, it's good to have something to do, right? Yes, teacher. That. Excellent, that's excellent. Well, Mr. Welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Let's see who else is here. Uh, 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 uh. Gabriela Lisette, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, How are you, miss? Very good, teacher. Excellent, excellent. How was the day for you? Uh, very well. Uh, in the morning, working. Working in the morning and the afternoon? Um, home. Um, that's yes. cool. That's very good. So relax. Yes, it's a relax. That's nice. It's very good when we can relax a little bit, right? So what time did you get home today? ¿A qué hora llegó a casa? Um, at 2 p.m. At 2 p.m.? Yes. Okay, that's a little bit early. Oh, 
So you're being like calm, everything's fine, right? Yes. Excellent, excellent. I like that. Welcome to the class, Gabriela. Nice having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks to you. Thanks to you. Good to have you. Okay, let's see who else is here. Alma? Oh, Good you, evening, got, teacher. you got little baby crying. Sí. No problem, no Please. problem. Alba. <laughs> Is that your baby? It's my uh, granddaughter. Granddaughter? Yes. Granddaughter, that's nieta. Es mi nieta. <laughs> really? <laughs> you don't look yeah. like a grandma. Yes. Gosh. Man, That's you right. look you look very young. <laughs> How old are you, Alma? Thank you, teacher. Uh forty one. Forty one? Yeah, you are younger than me. <laughs> yeah, I am forty three. Ah. I'm way older. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, we oh. are young. We are young. Okay. <laughs> we are very young. Okay. Muy jóvenes. <laughs> yeah, of course. Estamos of course. <laughs> yeah. How was your day, Alma? Uh, very good. Okay, very good. that's great. Yeah. That's great. What time very did you finish good. working today? At 2 p.m. Ouch. Early. Very early. That's cool. So you had time to relax mm. and stuff, right? Sí. Yes. Se siente muy bien. That's nice. Yes. Sí. Yeah, that's that's excellent. And yes. good for you. Tomorrow, uh, <laughs> I will wear back my home is at three or four. Three or four? Yes. Okay, well. Un poco más tarde. What can we do, right? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Seguir adelante. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's exactly the attitude. Well, so good to have you here. Qué bueno tenerla acá. ¿Cómo? Qué bueno tenerla. Good to have you here. Thank you, teacher. No, oh, thanks to you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Ana Patricia Meléndez. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Very fine. And you? Ah, you know, here. Same old story as usual. That's okay. What can I tell you? Same old story. Same old story. So you're ready for the class, right? Yeah, I'm ready. That's good. That's good. That's the attitude. I like that. Well, welcome to the class. Thank you. Carlos Luis. Hello, mister. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, very well, teacher. Very well. Um, I feel happy today. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, yesterday I could be connected because me, my son, 
um, was behind born. Your son was? My son was born yesterday. Oh, really? Yes. Congratulations, my friend. Yes, I uh, that. I am uh, that. Okay, so how many kids do you have? <laughs> yes, it's a baby. It's a boy. Okay, how many? ¿Cuántos tiene? I have three boys. Three boys? Oh my yes. gosh. I... That's expensive. <laughs> no, I'm very, very happy for yeah, the I can experience. Tell, I can tell. And the song, um, beautiful and wonderful. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. I'm so glad to hear that. Congratulations. Uh, they, they have a different uh, year. Okay. The, the biggest. The oldest. The oldest, correct, is 10 years. The second, um, five years. And this baby born yesterday. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, each five years. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Awesome. Good for you. Congratulations. It's a good planification. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, my friend. Thank you, teacher. Well, thanks to you for sharing and welcome to the class. Gracias. Bye. Okay, let's see. Melba. Hello, Melba. Hello, teacher. How are you, Melba? Mm. You good? Mm. How are you? ¿Qué tal? Melba. Bien, teacher. Good. You say good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo el día? Mm, regular. Really? Mm, yes. What did you do today? ¿Qué hizo hoy? Mm, mucho trabajo. A lot of work? Yes. Uh, that's normal, right? What can we do? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Exactly. I mean, we have to, I can. There is no way out. Eso si no hay escapatoria. Mm, sí, yes. Okay, okay, well, uh, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Yes, you can. Thank you. Thanks to you. Berenice, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How was your day, Bernice? It's fine. It's my day off. Oh, that's cool. So, what do you usually do on your day off? Well, watch the movies with my mom and my son, or cooking. Oh, really? It's you like cooking? For relax. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. What did you cook today? Well. My son is Kieran Linguini. I'm sorry? Oh, Linguini. Yeah. Oh, you like pasta? Yeah. Oh, now we are talking. I love I like pasta. It. I don't like it. You don't? Nah, no. Nah. And pasta is delicious. I like that. Okay, okay, that's cool. And in the afternoon, what did you do? Well, I sleep because in the yesterday I said you um I had a little sick and I have fever and temperature and I I need to sleep. Okay, yeah, resting is very important. 
Yeah, because tomorrow I, I have to go. Or... Okay, yeah, yeah. I understand you totally. Well, good to have you here, Bernice. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Okay, let's see, let's see. Juan Jose Cornejo. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, mister, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, teacher, and you? Ah, uh, you know, here's a most story as usual, working, working, and sometimes else working. Yes. What can I tell you? Uh, I work in, me too. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes, right? Así nos toca. Yes. How was the day for you? Uh, my day is was very busy. Busy. I, busy. I work in sales and I finish my shift at at 7 30 p.m. Oh, really? A little tired. What yes, do you do there? What? What do you do there? In a uh, call center. I, I am a, a supervisor for Tigo. Oh, really? Yes. That must be stressful. Yes, it's very stressful. And demanding. I mean, call center's environment <clears throat> is very demanding. Yes, it's a sales department. Oh, yeah. Because the days before, I had a problem with my works that my time for the classroom. For the classes? For the classes. Yeah, I understand you totally. I mean, it's just that the environment, I mean, you have to fulfill goals like a complete metas and yes and i mean uh, and if you want to get bonuses that's crazy if you can yes get yes bono, yes i mean in the end to... of in the end of the money the most difficult time in this yeah. in this work yeah and i mean and the thing is that uh i mean you got a team so everybody depends on everybody yes i i have a, a... A group of person I'm with my charge. Yeah, yeah. I I have a group of persons I am in charge of. Okay, I am in, in I am in charge of a group of persons. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You can say it like that. I am in okay. charge of of a group of persons. That's okay. But you can also say otra manera de decirlo. I am Okay. I am. I am in charge. Oh, okay. The first time you say it, I, uh, there's a group of person I am in charge of. Otra manera de decirlo es Look, there's a group of persons or a group of people or a group. You can just say a group because we are talking about people. Okay. There's okay. a group. I am in charge. Okay. Oh, like this. There's a group of, there's a group I am in a chair of. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so yeah, it's it's demanding, right? Yes, very demanding. Yeah, but the good thing is that you're here today. That's what matters. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, no, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Well, guys, before we move on, let me get the attendance, okay? Give me just one second. Okay, let's see. Uh, Aida Eugenia Ramirez Chavez. Present teacher. 
Alma Chamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present teacher. Ana Leslie Sánchez Grande. Ana Patricia Meléndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Carlos Luis Guzmán Yelamo. Damaris Lisset Guevara Herrera. Elías Alberto Cortés Salas. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez Rivera. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Thank you, Freddy. Gabriela Janet Pozo Peña. Present teacher. Gabriela Lisette Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. José Valentín Flores Rodríguez. Juan José Cornejo Urias. Present teacher. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Marina Leticia Rolín Jiménez. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Marta Berenice Cervellón Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Estera Echala Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Melba Lorena Martínez Martínez. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Rodríguez García. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Edgardo Guidos Burgos. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Chica Samaya. Sally Carolina Present. Morán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Sandra Karina Galvez Galdames. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's move on, let's move on, let's move on. So, Freddy, hello, mister, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening, good evening, good evening. Um, So far, so good, teacher. So far, so good. That's cool. Yeah. You had a good yeah. day, my friend? Uh, I can't complain. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. What time did you finish working? Uh, around five. Around five. Okay, and what time did you make it? Did you make it home? Can you repeat it, please? What time did you get home? I got a uh, for 4.45 p.m. Okay. So you had dinner already? Yes. Oh, that's nice. What was there for dinner? Uh, some alitos. I'm sorry? What was it? Hola. ¿Me escuchan? What was it? Yes, yes. Just repeat. What did you have for dinner? Tamalitos. Oh, tamales. What yeah. type of tamales? Oh, uh, elote. Corn tamales. Corn, oh, uh, yeah. Mm, corn tamales. Okay, okay. <clears throat> 
with that, COVID. That's interesting. I don't like corn tamale. <laughs> I got a serious problems with corn tamales, you know? Sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, I have a, a serious problems with food, my friend. Well, but I'm so glad for you. And you, it's you. Me. How was your dinner? My day. Oh, dinner. No, I haven't had dinner yet. I'm going to have dinner after the class. So late, it's you. I get sleepy if I eat before class. I get like, you don't want me sleepy, guys. If I eat before the class, I get like, I'm gone. Very interesting, teacher. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, mister, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Well, guys, today we have a couple of activities, a very, very interesting activities. We're going to work with the manual because today we start unit number two. But besides that, we're going to do some conversations. Do you remember like yesterday we were doing some conversations? Okay, and today uh, we're going to talk a... Uh, 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 mm -hmm. We're going to have a couple of questions for us to, you know, get started. Okay. So, uh, 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 I have a couple of situations. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Let me create the groups. Okay, I have a couple of situations and I want to hear your suggestions. What do you suggest me to do? Tengo unos, tengo unos cuantos problemas, okay? So you guys are going to help me. The situations are these, look. The first one is that I have a headache. What should I do? I hate working, man. I'm a lazy person. I don't like working. What should I do? I feel sad. I had a bad day. What should I do? What do you recommend me? Okay. Now, that, those are the questions. Okay. I have a headache. What should I do? I hate working. What should I do? I feel sad. What should I do? I'm going to send you to working groups. And I need you per group giving me two suggestions, me van a dar dos sugerencias, two advices, dos consejos, okay? About what should I do in that, in those situations? Two per situation, dos por cada situación. Okay, guys? You're going to be working in groups of three members. When we come back, I am going to pick one person from the group to tell me. Al regresar, yo voy a preguntarle a uno del grupo, okay? I'm going to okay. pick who? Just go ahead again. So I need you to participate and I need you to, to be creative, guys. It's going to be fun, okay? So you ready, guys? Yes. Ready, yes, teacher. teacher. Perfect. You have five minutes, okay? Okay. Five minutes. So let's jump in.
Ella las tengo. Ok. Yo pregunto entonces primero. Ah, ok. <coughs> Eh, comienza usted ahí queda yo yo le yo le digo lo de que me duele la cabeza y hago la pregunta entonces ah okay how a head at head what do you pronounce head head headache a headache what should headache. I do headache headache Like that, perfect. Headache. Have a headache. What should I do? Okay, now the situation is this. Look, la situación es esta. I have the problem. Yo tengo el problema. Mm -hmm. You are giving me suggestions. Ustedes me van a dar dos sugerencias. Okay. Um, you take a medicine or drink a medicine. Okay, you should you should take a pill. Okay, you should take a pill, or you should you should go to the doctor. I hate working. What should I do? You should work on something you like or you love. I feel so. What should I do? You should go to the shopping with your friends or Take a vacation with your family. Okay. How are you? I have a headache. 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 Okay, guys. Have... Uh, okay, okay, okay. Look. Vale, okay. la situación es esta. Yo soy el que tiene el problema. Ustedes van a crear dos sugerencias para mí y me las van a dar cuando regresemos al main room. Cuando regresemos okay. a la sala principal, ¿ok? No la okay. vamos a practicar. O sea, entre <risa> las dos van a darme, la, van, creen dos sugerencias. Tomen nota y me las van a dar. Ah, yeah. yo pensé que entre nosotras, este... No. Uh -huh. Debe dar dos soluciones. Okay. okay. Entonces en la primera, eh, la de you should take a pill. Um, take a medication. Okay. I hate work. Yes. I do. Look for hope that you like. Si odio trabajar, que renunciar. Look for a job that you like. Oh. Eh. <laughs> Eh, el otro sería a los cómo se llama eh, eh, trabajar eh, trabajar you should be the emprendedor Es. Um, 
podríamos agregarle un poquito más aquí en la sala. Ajá, eso. ¿Cómo sería? Descansar. Inglés. ¿Ah? Inglés. Inglés. No, 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 sin nada, sin nada. Eh, ajá, pero, o sea, yes, you should eh, get in a... Sería, you should eat something delicious. Eh, la mía sería, watch a comedy movie. Ah, yes, you should watch a comedy movie. Uh -huh. Ok. You Aquí se las paso ya. Y en la 1 y en la 2 que contestaron, porque yo como estaba, digamos, acompañada pero sola. Ok, no le salen las respuestas en el chat. No, no. como me acabo la... de unir. Se lo voy a volver a mandar. ¿Qué sería la extrema? Yo la mía, la 1 puse, go to the doctor. Eh, también nosotros. Mitsu, Mitsu. Y la dos, look for a job eh, that I like. Buscar un trabajo que, que le guste. No le gusta trabajar. <laughs> yes, uh, you, you should uh, change jobs. You should change jobs. In the I have a headache, what should I do? You should go to the doctor. You should take some aspirin. You should take some aspirin. Deberías tomarte una aspirina. In the second is I hate working. What should I do? Uh, you should remember pending bills. <laughs> Deberías de recordar tus facturas pendientes. And you should change jobs. Excellent. No sé si quieren agregar. ¿Algo más? No. It's okay. I want two per situation, okay? Yes. Perfect.
Okay, okay, let's see, everybody's back. A few seconds, let's see. Perfect. Group number one, Alma, Miguel, Oscar, and Sandra. Let's see who's gonna talk to me. Alma, talk to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, number one, I have a headache. What should I do? I go to the doctor. You should go to the doctor. I show and to say I should you, go to you. the doctor. Porque ah, me está diciendo a mí. Está a usted, sugerencia yes, a usted. Exactly. You should go to the doctor. Oh, uh, you should drink medicine. Okay. Uh -huh. Number two. You hate working. What should you do? Si sería. Eh? Yep. Yeah. You should look at job that like you. I'm sorry. You should look a job that like you. That you like. That you like. Okay. Mm. Eh, la otra si no la dice teacher. Me puede decir la, la tercera. The third situation. Yeah. You feel sad? Yeah, I feel sad. Okay. What should you do? Uh, you should talk to someone. I should what? Um, you should talk to someone. someone. Oh, talk to someone. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. Excellent, thank you. Oh. Um, you should listen music. Listen to music. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Next group is Ana Patricia, Carlos Luis, Gabriela, Janet. Ana Patricia and Gabriela, you were working together, right? Okay, Gabriela, you talk to me. Tell me. Mm -hmm. and have a headache what should I do you should go to the doctor eh, nosotros habíamos dicho con Patricia que íbamos a ir diciendo una y una ok you should take a pill I hate working. What should I do? You should look for a job that you like. You should look for a good job. I feel sad. What should I do? You should eat pizza. You should go to the shopping with your friends or your family. I prefer the pizza, you know, I hate shopping. Man, that's crazy. Why? Going, going shopping with ladies for us guys, man. You don't know, I mean, that going shopping with a lady, for me, it's the definition of torture. Para mí esa es la definición de tortura. It's terrible. I mean, the words is going shopping for shoes. Man, that's a special situation. No hay nada peor que ir de compra de zapatos. Oh, my gosh. That's With terrible. With a woman? What? With a woman. Yeah. With the shopping shoes. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's torture. <laughs> that's tortura. You, you are, I mean... That's, yeah, I'm not going to be sad. I'm going to be like, uh, angry. Okay, thank you, ladies. Very well done. Thank you. Berenice, Damaris, and Freddy. Freddy, talk to me. Vamos a decir una cada uno. 
Okay, that's fine. Ladies first. Ladies first, excellent. Okay. <laughs> I said the first. And yeah. I have to say, what should I do? What you should go to the take medicine and the rest. And you can stay in a dark room, then close your eyes. Paso a paso, como va a hacer. Entonces, yo no lo hice. I have working, but sure I do. You don't take a break, need to continue, or change, change your heart. I feel sad. What should I do? You should go to the park or doing something like you, for example, play soccer and etc. That's all, which. Hello. Hello. That's all. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with my microphone. My bad. Very well done, guys. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Melba and Rafael. Hello, teacher. Okay, so how are you going to do it, guys? Find your growth outside of work. What? <laughs> one and one, it's okay for you? Uno y uno? Okay. I have a head action. What do I do? Melba. I got la. I take couples. Well, hello. Voy por la daver. Yes, yes, guys. Thanks, situation. Let's see. Let's do it like I this. Melba. To... Melba, Melba, Melba. I'm going to ask you. Yo le pregunto, okay? Okay. Okay, Melba. Let's see. You know, I hate working. What should I do? I... Yes? I go to the park. You should go to the park. Mm -hmm. Go to do the park. Thank you, easy. Okay, and relax. That's what you mean. Mm -hmm. And relax. Okay. I feel sad. Okay. I should go to the cinema or go to the park on a practice as for for another system. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Aida and Gabriela. Okay. Gabriela, I have her chest. What shall I do? You should go to the doctor. Or you should take medicine or aspirin. 
Um, Aida, I had working. What should I do? You should buy lottery or you should be your own bus. Your own bus. <laughs> Our bus. Okay, buy the lottery. That's cool. <laughs> Okay, Gabriela, next one. Uh, yes. tell me. Uh, What's the next one? I feel sad. What should I, I do, guys? Uh, you should play, right? You should play, or you should go to the gym. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Two very different activities, but two very objective activities. I like that. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, last group is Juan Jose, Marta Alicia, and Marta Esther. What you got for me, guys? Okay, teacher. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I got a headache. What should I do? I, uh, I have oh, okay. a headache. Uh, you should go to the doctor and you should take some aspirin. Okay, some painkillers. That's cool. Man, I hate working, guys. I'm lazy. I don't want to work no more. I'm tired. What should I do? Okay, uh, you should remember pending bills, teacher. Oh, yeah. Good <laughs> motivation. Very good motivation. Pending um, bills. Oh, man. You know, you just got me stressed. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. And you should change jobs. Perhaps that's necessary. Thank you. Now, guys, uh, I'm, I'm sad. I don't know. I'm sad. What should I do? Okay. Uh, you should watch a comedy movie. And you should eat something delicious. Okay, comfort food. Mm. An interesting yes. concept. Comfort food. Excellent, thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool, that's cool. I like that, guys. Now, let's see. We're going to do one more, and then we're going to go to the manual, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, now the situation, again, you're going to give me advices. But uh, the situation is just one, okay? Uh, the situation is as follows. If you have a lot of things to do to get done in one week, how do you manage? When you have a very busy week, how do you do? What does it work for you to complete all the activities? Okay, what are the strategies, what attitudes, what makes you fulfill everything that you say like, cool, I did it. Now, what advice would you give someone who is very busy? I am busy all the time, always. I mean, I work from Sunday to Sunday, okay? I only rest Sunday afternoon. I am home at 2.30 on Sunday. So that I just rest that afternoon and that's it. So what advice can you give someone who's very busy like that? Those are two situations, okay? If you have a lot of things to get done in one week, how do you manage? What do you do? And then, what advice would you give someone who is very busy? Now, you're going to have five minutes for this activity. Again, you go to the breakout rooms, same people. And uh, five minutes, jump in. Let's do it.
okay. Um, <clears throat> Teacher, una consulta, vamos a dar dos consejos por cada pregunta. It's up to you. In this you can give me one, but very well structured. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Advice would be I have a, I have a one option for the first question. Questions. Uh, in my case, I organize my activities to the to be carried out by priority. So, uh, organizo mis mis ideas por prioridad, mis, mis actividades por prioridad. Yo creo que eso puede ser algo bien acertado si se acumula mucho trabajo en una semana. Mm -hmm. How do you say procrastinar? <laughs> <laughs> in procrastinate. English. Procrastinate. It is my my idea for the first question. Entonces sería organize. I organize my activities. For, for priority, no, no sé I cómo. organize I organize my my activities to to be to be priority. 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 Solo vamos a dar una opción. Up to you, but very well structured the sentence. Depende de ustedes, pero yo quiero una oración bien hecha, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Letter. Como que no lo deje para de como que no deje las cosas para después o a último momento. Me parece bien, se escucha bien. Ajá, es eso, lo de, de, de que organice el tiempo de acuerdo a la prioridad de las actividades y que no deje nada para después. Me parece bien. Pero entonces, teacher, cuando pasemos a hacerlo, eh, diríamos una sola respuesta, o sea, lo, le haríamos de un solo y daríamos una sola respuesta, o tendríamos que cortar en la primera pregunta, dar la respuesta y cortar en, en la otra. Up to you, it depends on you. Ok. Up to you solo. <laughs> ok.
Ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Everybody's back. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Oscar Edgardo. Hello, Oscar. I don't hear you, I'm sorry. Let's Dear see. teacher. Okay, tell me, what advice would you give someone who is very busy, Miguel? I want to hear they didn't call me. To think uh, I okay. I will offer my help. Offer, 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 offer my help. Okay, perfect. Thank you. 
Anna Patricia, tell me, if you have a lot of things to get done in one week, how do you manage? Mm. I take a note, organize my time for organize. organize, organize the time for order to priorities and don't leave things for later. Okay, that sounds interesting. Excellent. Thank you. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Berenice. Hello. Hello, Berenice. Tell me, what advice would you give someone who is very busy all the time? Well, the first is make a schedule for the week, checking all the things to get, uh, organize the most important for doing the first and request help at work to finish some time. Okay, perfect. That's excellent. And tell me, uh, 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 what advice would you give someone who is very busy? I'm sorry, teacher. I'm sorry, I can't I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yes, Oscar, tell me. Do you do you listen to me, teacher? Yes, I do. Okay, and I can the uh, uh, answer. No, yes, I answer your question when you have uh, time. Okay, let's answer it now. Tell me, what advice would you give someone who's very busy? And I should, uh, I should, I will make an agenda. Okay. And two, uh, I will make the important things first. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. And the second question, what advice would you give someone who is very busy? Uh, I will say, tell him, say, take it easy. Take it easy. Okay. And the second, uh, I will offer my help. Excellent, thank you. Freddy, okay. what about you? Thank you? What advice would you give someone who's very busy? Uh, number one, make a schedule. Number two, organize the most important. Number three, request help up workers. Okay, that sounds perfect. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, Rafael. Hello. Okay, Rafael. If you have a lot of things to get done in one week, how do you manage? What do you do in order to fulfill all the activities? Um, I, I mean, I choose to be uh, make an agenda and I try to to finish a uh, task was more important. Okay. That's okay. That's, That's fine. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Aida. Aida Eugenia. Yes, it's with Gabriela. Okay. Yes. But Aida, you tell me. You. Okay, I'm a very busy person. So what advice would you give me? I would uh, uh, take a break. Think positive. I would uh, think Hakuna Matata. <laughs> okay. That sounds... Interesting. Thank you. Okay, guys. And let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Marta Alicia. 
tampoco soy de Java en esa forma. Tell me, Marta Alicia, if you have a lot of things to get done in one week, how do you manage? No quiero fallar, no, pero no soy una persona completa. Yes, Marta Alicia. Okay, perhaps he's very busy. Eh, eh, eh. Juan Jose. Hi. Okay, Juan Jose. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, if you have a lot of things to get done in one week, how do you manage? What do you uh, do? I organize myself, my, my activities to be carrying of my priority. Okay, that's cool. Sounds interesting. And what about, uh, I'm a very busy person. So what advice can you give me? I recommend that you take a deep breath and organize your time better. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, Keep guys. calm. Keep calm. Let's see. Let's see. Keep calm. That's cool. As Aida said, man, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay, give me one second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to share with you. Now we go to the manual, page number 19. And this a small activity that we are going to do. Let me see. Let me share with you. Okay. And here we go. Okay, first, you're going to listen to the pronunciation of the different steps to follow when making an online purchase. Then you're going to write down the steps in order, okay? So the information that we have is the following one. Credit cards information. Confirm your information and submit. Select the item to purchase or items to purchase. Go to the online web page. Write your billing address. Check the price. Confirm the method of payment. Log into your account. Okay, guys. So now, what's the correct order? I'm going to give you one minute. We need to place this information here. So I'm going to give you one minute, read it, analyze it, and then we are doing it together, okay? Okay, guys, ready? Oh, teacher, can you repeat, please? No, 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 escuché bien. Tengo un poquito de lluvia por acá. Okay, 
No problem, Freddy. Please keep your microphone open. Tell me, Freddy, which of these steps do you think is the first one? When you, we are making an online purchase, okay? Estamos haciendo una compra en línea. Which step is the first one? Uh, Number one, teacher, is um, okay. go to the online where. My dear, you didn't let uh, Freddy. Okay, Freddy, you got the second one. I need you to tell me one of them. Because as per step, log in your account. Okay, the, which is the first step? Log in to your account. That's the first. Yeah, because we don't be um okay log into your account then yeah and confirm your information and submit what about go to the online web page mm -hmm. oh isn't that the first one yes 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 ah so log into your account could be perhaps es que no, no había entendido qué vamos a hacer por eso Ah, so we sell here. Let's see. The first one is go to the online web page. Right? Okay, perfect. What's number two, guys? Log into your account. Select the item. Oh, yeah. no, sorry, sorry. Go to the yeah. online web page. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but go to the online web page is the first one. What's the Logging second one? Logging your account. I know. Okay, log, log into, into your, your account. account. Yeah. Mm. No, let's select the item. Then? Select, select the items. Select the items to purchase. Okay. Sure, guys? <coughs> um, board. Check the price. Check the price. Okay, check the price. After checking the price? Confirm the method of, of payment. Open the method of payment. Mm. Okay, confirm the method of payment. Perfect. Confirm the method of payment. Perfect. Next. Write your billing address. Okay. Write your... No. Oh. Oh, teacher. I'm sorry? I think... Uh... Credit card information. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because after confirming the method of payment, you have to put the credit card, you have to log it, right? Yeah, it's correct. Credit card information. Perfect. Then, seven. Great. Write your billing address, right? Whoopsie. And the last one. 
Confer your information. Confer your information and submit. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, questions? No? Okay, now listen to the pronunciation. Go to the online webpage, log into your account, select the item to purchase, check the price, confirm the method of payment, credit card information, write your billing address, confirm your information and submit. Okay, no questions, right? Cool. Okay, guys, now, here, look, we have these, that, those, well, we have this, that, this, and those. Okay. These are determiners. Do you understand them? Ya los conocemos, right? These, we use these when we refer to something that is close to us. Something that is close to our hands. Something that we can touch or that we can get a hold. But it's accessible for us or something that we have in our hands. Like, uh, 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 like if I say, oh, look, let's see, this, this, this pen is black, okay? This pen is black, it's close to my hand. I can touch it if I want to. Now, if the object is far, I tell you, hey guys, that, that pen is red, okay? It's far away. Now, we have the other word that is this. Now, the difference on pronunciation is very small, okay? So, we have uh, 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 this, it's one, singular, and this is the plural. Okay, let me do it the other way. Let's go to the board. Okay, we have this. What does this refer to? Something that is close. Okay, we can touch it. Now, we have this. What is this? Ah, this is the plural of this. So simple. You see, este, esta, esto, this is the plural. Now, that, that refers to something that is far, okay? And those Those is the plural of that.
as simple as this. Okay, so, ese, esa, eso, and those, the plural. And that's it. Questions? Preguntas? Teacher. Yes? Como sabemos que el dad es... Eh... Eh, significa que o cuando significa eh, ese oh that is simple that is very simple look uh, 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 uh. según el contexto yes because if I tell you hey that class was nice I'm not saying que clase fue bonita. It's not a question. Mm -hmm. I tell you that class was nice. It's like, oh man, hey, that necklace looked beautiful on you. Thank you. <laughs> so you see, I mean, you cannot get confused between one and the other, right? Okay. So it's the context. It's like, man, you see, Alma, that I love black caps, like like that one Juan Jose's got, you see? It's a black cap. I like that one. Okay, so I'm exactly saying that is the problem that we have. Oh, in this case, it's que. The problem that we have. No. Porque no puedo decir el problema ese tenemos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So it's the context. The context is the one. Of course, it's just a matter of practice. I mean, with the pass of time, it becomes natural. Right. Okay. This is beginner. So at the beginning, you just feel like, oh, I'm not that sure. But with the pass of time, it becomes natural on you to identify one when it's one and when it's the other. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. So now. Let's see. I'm going to share again with you. And we have this exercise. Well, you know, singular, I want to buy this computer. Plural, you have to buy these shoes. We check this cell phone on the web page. He can play with any of these credit cards. Okay. Now, uh, she's going to order that kit for her friends. They purchase those cars. The company wants to buy to buy that leaf. My coworker sold those products. Now, how do you know when it is these and when it is these because they sound pretty alike, right? Son muy parecidos. How do I know? How do I make the difference? Como lo diferencio? Very simple. Yeah. It's not the same if I say I want to buy this computer than when I say I want to buy these computers. Yeah, yeah, the, you get the difference? Yeah. If you don't get it on the right on the word, si no lo entendimos directamente en la palabra, en el determiner, you get it in the plural. Okay. Yeah. I want to buy this computer. Okay, that's one. But when I say I want to buy these computers, you heard the S, right? Automatically, you know it's the plural. Questions? No question, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now the exercise. You have to write the correct demonstrative pronoun. Okay, you're going to write this, that, this, or those. That's the objective here, to write the correct one. Okay? Again, guys, in this case, just for minutes, we have to do this very fast because it's very simple. It's a very easy activity, okay? So let's do it, guys. 
Hi, teacher. Hi. Excuse me, teacher. I I had connect to a listener, but I I work in in, in the last time, and I in this moment I driving to my house. No problem. You can just listen to your classmate. That's okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Or cricket, que es otra other option. In the number four, and did you bring this package? Back, is it? Sí. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. And teníamos la duda con respecto a the wall jeans. Vamos a ver si es plural or singular. Jeans. Oh, that's plural. Okay. Always. Pants is plural. Plural. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Entonces... just that the situation is this. It's in Spanish that we say one. Mm -hmm. But in English you say one pair of pants. Lo que nosotros llamamos un pantalón en inglés es un par de pantalones. Mm, ah, ok. So, in English, when you say a pair of pants, you are not talking about two, no está hablando de dos. You are talking about one. Oh. This is plural. Yes. Mm. You, don't, you don't say mi pantalón. You think, o sea, la manera como se piensa es mis pantalones. And you are talking about one. 
pues, ¿no? y como es algo que está far, pero es dos, van a decir dos things. Exactly. Thank teacher. But number five, five. to count all is the in plural. Cuatro sweaters to the chair. To the chair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finish, guys? Yes, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Let me just check the other groups, okay? Okay. Yes, I have to, to go to Vitus. Mm -hmm. Checklist, check, teacher. Mm, we will check on the main room. Vamos a ver en el main room. ¿Cómo puedo agregar esto? Hello, Carlito.
Okay, let's see, let's see. Everybody's coming back. Let's just wait a few seconds, guys. Hello, teacher. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Hello, Melpa. Ya terminamos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I recall everybody. Por eso los mandé todos para acá. Okay. <laughs> Let's discuss and analyze. Did you want to buy okay, this? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, guys. Let me explain to you. Okay, do you want to buy? That. That. Okay, let's see. Voy a ir explicando, okay? In this case, we are going to say that. Do you want to buy that tablet? Yes, I want to buy the black one. Desde el momento que nos dice, si quiero la negra. So there's more options. The person doesn't have them in the hand. Okay? La persona no las tiene en sus manos. Okay? In number two. Okay, let me see. In number two. Okay, can I see? Again, it's far. De nuevo, está lejos. Can I see those jeans? Sure, what size? The question is, what size? Que talla? So, it means that the person doesn't have them in their hand. Okay? My friend and I are interested on... In this one, again, that. My friend and I are interested on that makeup. The small box, number four. Did you bring this package? Yes, I did. Number five. You can add those four sweaters to the chart. Okay, but can I take two? I have to buy those new books at the library. Okay, now something that I need you to understand is that in this one, It could have been also this. The problem is that sometimes we need more context. A veces necesitamos más context, okay? Questions about the vocabulary, guys? Preguntas con el vocabulario? No? Okay, perfect, cool. Okay, let's see. Oh, by the way, I needed to make a, 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 a like a like a pose, okay? I need to remind you guys, necesito recordarles that. Uh, give me just one second. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Oh, right here. I need to remind you that uh, the job in the platform. Has everybody got into the platform? ¿Han logrado entrar todos a la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's fine. That's great. I'm telling you because 
eh, yesterday we finished the first week. Ayer terminamos la primera semana. And I still see some, some spaces in blank. Aún veo algunas notas en blanco. We were supposed yesterday to have finished section one. En teoría, ayer ya habíamos terminado la sección uno. And remember, for this week we got section two and the midterm. <laughs> we have two activities for this week. Para esta semana tenemos dos. The whole section two and the midterm. So we have to advance in the platform. Now, I need you to please check out the exercises. Uh, try to do them. Remember, the platform is going to take your highest grade. Recuérdense que a mí el reporte me cae de la nota más alta. So, you can keep on practicing. You can use those exercises as extra practice. You can repeat them. Okay? Don't forget but it's very important for you to log in and start working on it. Because as I told you, uh, to be honest with you, right in this moment, I have, let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of you. Just eleven of you have finished section one. Solo once me han terminado la section one. And that one was due yesterday. I mean, I'm telling you because uh, the problem is that at the end we are running. And that's what I don't want because it's a lot of work. I mean, it's many activities and the idea is for you to do them slowly. If you notice, every topic that we finish here in the class is the topic that is evaluated in the platform. And it's very easy. Sometimes those are the same exercises we do from the manual most of the time they are the same exercises so nothing to worry about nada que preocuparnos now is there any question or any doubt preguntas o dudas ok no, no. let me get the second attendance please teacher in the uh... En la sesión dos voy, pero en el ejercicio nueve he pasado todo el día y no me salen las respuestas, solo una en todo el día. Le doy forma de un modo y de otra y no. Ok. You're talking about section two, right? Okay. Creo que en la parte de ordenar las oraciones ahí como que tengo un poquito de problema. Yeah, because I mean, that's, uh, uh, remember, uh, remember that you need capital and you need period. Recuerda que necesita mayúsculas y que necesita period. Like in that section, in the first one, it's very easy. En esa sección en la primera, por ejemplo, uh, what you do is this, look, I will change this product. Yes. Capital at the beginning, period at the end. Mayúscula mm -hmm. al inicio, punto al final. Mm -hmm. And remember the structure. Y recuerdes la estructura. Subject, then the modal. After the modal, you get the main verb in present, and then the complement. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yes. if you are having, if you have any other problem, let me know. Okay, and I'll help you. Cualquier yes. problema que se le presente, avíseme, yo con gusto le ayudo. Okay? Okay. Now, Aida Eugenia Ramirez Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you, Aida. Alma Chamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Leslie Sánchez Grande. Ana Patricia Meléndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. Carlos Luis Guzmán Yelamo. Tamaris Lisset Guevara Herrera. Elías Alberto Cortés Alas. 
Evelyn Yajaira Martínez Rivera. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Gabriela Chanet Pozo Peña. Gabriela Lisset Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. José Valentín Flores Rodríguez. Juan José Cornejo Urias. Present. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Marina Leticia Rolín Jiménez. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Marta Berenice Cervellón Miranda. Present teacher. Marta Esther Ayala Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Melba Lorena Martínez Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Rodríguez García. Present teacher. Oscar Edgardo Guidos Burgos. Rafael Antonio Chica Samaya. Present teacher. Sally Carolina Morán de Cabrera. Sandra Karina Galvez Galdames. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Ok. Well, guys, thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Be early. Bye bye. Good night, Chen. Good night, bye -bye. teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, group. Good night. See you tomorrow. Here.
Well, there was just Karina tonight, but she couldn't participate. We're just waiting for a couple of seconds and we're going to give us finish the activity. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.